Okay, Nick Houston here with Ben from Shore and also Alan, a uh, person of few words. Um, ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about Alan since uh, they can't speak for themselves. Alan is a, is a great boom op. Uh, we have him at the show and while we're setting up, uh, you put together with a lot of Alan screws, so we nicknamed him Alan. And uh, he's rocking uh, the Shure uh, shotgun there, VP88, I believe, as well as the 83 uh, on the KTEC bowl here. So it's, uh, everybody gets a lot of questions about him, and we thought Alan was a pretty good, pretty good name. You know? Very cool. Yeah. All right, awesome. So thanks for taking the time to yes. hang with us today. Um, we're live on the internet, so if anybody out there watching has any uh, questions or comments for Ben or Alan, uh, leave them in the comment section and Ben will most likely answer and not Alan. Uh, so anyway, you got a couple of new things that you wanted to show us today. Yes. Um, wh what do you got? You know, it's been two years since NAB, uh, what, 2019 I think was the last one. So we've had a lot of product releases from since then. Uh, it's, it's tough to pick a few things, but I'll, I'll talk about some of the brand new stuff that we have mm -hmm. and some of the things that are just came out recently. Um, most notably is the uh, KSM 11. This uh, was just launched, and this is our new flagship wireless uh, handheld capsule. Uh, it's, a super, it's a cardioid condenser, um, and it's really designed for digital. So um, it's available in both, uh, you know, uh, this nickel, this like chromey uh, or black, and it's really uh, designed for digital, you know, good clarity, great high end, uh, full lows. Uh, it's got great off-axis rejection, and so far the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. So it's kind of taking our new upper echelon of capsules. and. Um, I have it here on the VPH, which is the uh, Shure video production handheld. Uh, this guy allows you to take any of your Shure microphone capsules and make them wired. So it takes a wireless capsule and will um, turn it into XLR, which is kind of cool. So if you already have a bunch of these, you can grab one of these and you know have a, a backup wired microphone in your kit. So we're, we're psyched about that and that's getting a lot of good traction. Um, for the location friends out there, we do have a new Sure battery charger. This is the SBC 210 LM. And now the LM means that it's less module. Uh, that means you, you can order this with just the housing and the adapter. Um, it is DC powered or with the included uh, AC adapter. So you can run it off of your bag or your battery or your uh, your power source, your portable Is that 12 volt DC then, or what's, you know what the volt is? Yeah, I believe it? it's, uh, it's nominal around 12. 12 or 14, I'd have to look at the exact specs, okay. but it, people have been using them in the field with great success. And anytime you want to charge two batteries of your choosing, you just simply pair this up with any of the modules that normally fit into our SBRC rack battery charger. So it's a great little way to just you know, run a few channels or if you've got a bag set up and you want to travel light and you're flying or whatnot, uh, this is a nice little addition to the kit and you no longer have to buy it with an included module. You can pick a module uh, that's different than this one if you're using the micro body pack or something like that. So we're, we're excited about that. And then uh, I'm sure our location friends will be as well. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit about what's going on here. We brought this, uh, Gotham helped us with this cart. And as you can see, it's got all the bells and whistles. Uh, we got the uh, Cantar X3, uh, you know, the, uh, the Shure ecosystem here, the new ADX 5D uh, and the PSC six pack, uh, got quad receiver, uh, Shure IFB, PSM 1000. Uh, we're running everything over Dante and uh, in and outs and Dante to the IFB using a breakout box. It's uh, kind of a showcase of everything that the, the system can do, uh, as well as, you know, the Aton can talk to the uh, Sure stuff as well and have the, have the, uh, the visibility there of the Sure network. Uh, in addition to all of this, you know, control, we have it on Wireless Workbench, which we've been doing, uh -huh. but we also have uh, Sure Plus Channels, which, uh, if you don't know, is a free app on the, uh, the iOS App Store. And you can basically just put a Wi-Fi router or access point on your system, and you can, you know, use this iPad or iPhone app to have great command and control. Uh, you can like basically see just about everything Workbench can do, uh, with the exception of frequency coordination. And I know you know you're out in the field, you don't have a lot of cart space. Uh, uh, you know, maybe you're running a bag or something. You just want to have great visibility of what's going on. This is a, a great way to do it, and uh, you can download it for free. It costs nothing. So uh, this with the Sure Gear and an access point and you're good to go. We actually had a customer uh, call the other day, sure customer that uh, wanted to know how to give control to somebody that wanted to be able to mute and unmute a talent's belt pack. Yes. And that was the solution that was come up with, was to give them only access to that one transmitter to mute and unmute, 
but they could do it from their phone. That's a great application. Yeah, you can actually, with the ADX, you can see the transmitters that are listed and, and mute them and unmute them from here. Uh, it gives a peace of mind if you have a private conversation or just, you know, you have privacy. Yeah. It's great. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right, and you, sure, is uh, has some kind of exciting news about a recent thingamajig that happened. <laughs> yeah, a little soiree. We, uh, we went to the CAS Awards, the Cinema Audio Society in LA, and we were nominated uh, for an award for our ADX 5D, and mm -hmm. we won. And we're very grateful for all the support of the community, and uh, we're just blown away by uh, everybody's acceptance to, to Sure and the, the portable field. So uh, we're very proud of it and humbled by, uh, by everybody's uh, rooting for us and voting for us and supporting us. It's great. Yeah. Great. Um, any, I have to ask this, and I'm sure you won't tell us, but any insights as to what might be coming down next in the Shore Wireless product line, particularly well, Axion? We're always working on new and exciting things. That's our kind of stock uh -huh. catchphrase. Uh, but, you know, uh, we keep the ideas flowing. Uh, a lot of the things that come with ideas are from the field and how people use the product. Uh, so please tell us what you'd like to see, and we will try our best to make it happen, whether that's uh, a software feature, a hardware device, or something in between. So, okay. uh, yeah, there's always something in the kitchen that our engineers are cooking up. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I know we have a lot of videos with you and, and other Shure stuff, so if you want to go into a, like a deeper dive into the Shure ecosystem, definitely check out our YouTube channel. I'm going to open up to questions now. Joey, do we have any questions, comments on, uh, on the internet? There is a question. Uh, the charging module takes uh, five volt. Uh, this person would love to know the connector specs on it. Is that something they can find? Oh, that, yes, it should be in the manual. Uh, it's smaller than a typical 2.1, 5.5. I think it's, uh, I don't know, maybe sub two millimeter or something. I have to look at the specs for this. But uh, when you get it, you do get the adapter for it to, to power it. Uh, and of course, you can you know, adapt that either you know you can find out the barrel size or or cut it off and connect it to your favorite five volt source which is pretty readily available it's a good question yeah yep great question and if you'd like to know the answer do email us at info at gothamsound.com we will figure it out and email you the answer once we've looked it up yep. um joey anything else no other questions all right, super sweet. How has uh, 2022 NAB been for you guys so far? It's been great. It's been really good to be back out in, in the field after two years. It's kind of like dipping our toe back into the water, but we're ready and we're here. And, um, you know, it's just been, been kind of, the day's been flying by. A lot of support and people coming by and saying hello and checking out what we have to do. And um, we're kind of focused in this booth uh, this year with uh, obviously location sound first and foremost, because that's kind of our, you know, we haven't really had a show to announce this kind of stuff since the ADX 5D and whatnot. Um, but we also brought a few of the other stuff, the uh, the 910 ceiling mic array, uh -huh. uh, and uh, there's uh, several sound carts and sound bags and things that show it like in its real, again, how real people use the gear, which is always fascinating to me. Like, you know, we make a product, but how people actually use it is is really cool. You know? Cool. Awesome. All right. Joe, anything else before sign off? Nothing else. All right. Super great. Ben, cool. thank you so much. But Alan... Thank yeah. you so much. It's really, it's it's an arms never get tired, steel. you know? Yeah, shoulders of steel. Solid, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more from NAB 2022. Um, as always, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, email us at info at gothamsound.com. Ben, we will see you in a couple of weeks, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, very good. Thank you.